My name is Tom Bryce and I'm the manager of Sandwich Commonwealth Place. We decided to change now because of a couple of things. One, there was the contract coming up with the current vendors, uh, with both our vending and our food services. At the same time, I was feeling some pressure to either lead or get pushed because, of course, in the environment, there was more and more people coming and looking for healthy food choices. I'm Glenn Jackson. I'm the general manager of Ryan Vending. We had a, a great working relationship with the people at Sandage Commonwealth Place and uh, they felt it was very important to coordinate it with their food service company and we agreed with the coordination. I'm Jamie Rock, owner-operator of Aquaterra Cafe. The reason we chose to open up a Healthy Choices Cafe was twofold. One, to educate ourselves. I've been in the industry for quite a while now but I've never done anything quite like this. But also, it just seemed like the right thing to do. One of the successes we have, and we keep doing it, is we try to get the teams together. So for example, very often I'll host both Ryan Vending and the people from Aquaterra, and we'll just have general discussions on how things are going. Uh, communication is, is great here with uh, SCP. Tom Bryce, the center manager, his door's always open to us, and vice versa, ours is open to him. We feel it's part of our role as a, as a vending supplier to be uh, socially responsible and we saw this change as being uh, you know, in line with that, so uh, made the change happen. We try to keep tabs on the brand names food list as much as we can, but also in the products we prepare in our kitchen we try to make a little difference, such as um, whole wheat flour in our scone mix, light sour cream in some of our dressings and so forth. Um, light cream cheese on our bagels, our, our multi-grain bagels for that matter. Another thing we do is uh, we offer all our disposable products are biodegradable too, so that kind of goes with the whole theme. The strategies that we've, we've used uh, is first of all to educate ourselves with the assistance of dietitians. Um, also to use the BC, uh, BC brand food list has been very helpful to us to understand what products are healthy, officially healthy and not. Um, and the, I guess the third part is just to continue to work with our suppliers to access uh, more and better healthy products. We're about to even look at pocket markets where local outside pr producers will bring their goods, their carrots, their potatoes, etc. and come and sell them here on Saturday morning. It just makes energy. We choose to work as a team with the other operators. Um, mainly because from a financial perspective, the better we do, the better they do. They've got um, some marketing resources that we can take advantage of that will immensely help out our business as well. Financially, uh, it is a big change for vending suppliers and also for the facility managers. Um, we have to understand that it is a big change and short term there may be some pain, but I, you know, I believe that you know, long term it's the right thing to do. In terms of revenue, we're ahead of where we expected to be at this point and we see no reason why that shouldn't continue on into the future. I think the approach we took the first three months basically was to ease into it, not really do any kind of marketing per se. Now that we've had those three months under our belt, we can be a little more aggressive with, with how we market our business. In terms of advertising, we feel the best way to go, at least initially, is word of mouth. And, and what we did early on was we had a couple of sample days where people were able to try our product for free and that went really well. From that point on, things kind of took off to the point where we're now making two fresh soups almost daily and we're having trouble even keeping up. When we first opened it up, we wanted to open up our counters a little bit just to make sure our food was front and center and we could show off our great products. We try to hire and retain very friendly staff, which we think uh, helps sell our product. I think the advice that I would give uh, to make the transition smoother is uh, to have a good plan uh, established by you know by all parties and you know take small steps but start and, and con do continuous steps and um, you know keep the keep the end goal in mind and it'll happen. I think if I had to give advice to someone else in our shoes I would make sure you you take the time to plan ahead not only before you implement and open up but uh, have a, have a yearly plan. Sit down once a year and look ahead to the next year. I think the real payoff was right after shutdown and we reopened and here we had all this new choices. 
and people who were so silent before, in fact, maybe didn't even use our center for their food services, came up and congratulated us on making the switch. I really encourage everybody to really decide they're going to step forward. You will be successful. Go for it.